Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Trade to Rank. So we left off in Act 6, uh, which was pretty much basically playing a walking sim. Uh, we managed to go through and get uh, the Twilight Shrine cleared with no problem at all. We managed to get the um, manuscript, uh, which was also again nothing too bad. Um, pretty much I don't think anything stopped us really. All we would do is just go there, right click, stick our guardian in, um, and hope for the best. And that's pretty much what we did all the way through to the Brain King. Uh, it was pretty straightforward there. I don't think we really had anything else that dropped necessarily. Uh, I think we got one or two gear pieces, so we'll see what happened there. But following on from that, we did happen to get a couple good drops in the next act. So we managed to get our first six socket. Uh, which was quite nice. We also managed to get our first Elva, which we didn't do very well in to start with, um, but that's going to get better. Better as we uh, level up our gear. A couple support gems that we did manage to get throughout the period of uh, the acts was Life Gain on Hit. We managed to get one of those. Cast on Melee Kill. We got one of those as well. Uh, Ancestral Call, I believe we got a couple of those, uh, which was quite nice as well. Um, we also, what else did we get? What else did we get? We got a unique talisman. That was quite nice. That dropped, uh, which is going to be massive help for our defenses. We also got slower projectiles, uh, which is quite nice as well. Purity of ice, it dropped. And then Ellie Prolif dropped, which we actually added to our build, which helped a lot with um, Absolution, because then you get the 20% chance to ignite freeze and shock uh, which did help indeed we also picked up a couple additional uniques as uh, storm prison being one of the bigger ones uh, that i noticed uh, which was extremely good as well uh, during the video we also picked up a logbook which i don't think we're going to be running anytime soon until we feel a bit more confident in our build that's going on now but um yeah, so that was that was through the axe. Kitava was pretty straightforward and he wasn't too difficult. I think we had one little scare there, but that's more just positioning than anything else. Uh, we didn't need to log or anything like that. Uh, same as Azaro, we managed to do all three of our labs. Uh, easy enough, we picked up a couple dark shrines, which actually gave us a twice blessed, which we didn't actually need in the end, but we did happen to get the uh, summon Raging Spirits one, where there's a chance to uh, summon another one, uh, which I thought was a really, really big help uh, on this character as well. After that, we started going towards our maps, which, to be honest, I think mapping I find to be a lot easier as long as you have your res cap. Uh, starting off in the first five tiers isn't really a problem. Uh, we have quite a few completions uh, at the end of the day. It's, I find it easier because in the campaign you do tend to ramp up in difficulty quite a bit because you're going from no gear to relatively safe gear but once you hit maps you kind of settled for a bit and it's only as difficult as you want to make it whether or not you want to ramp up um, like an Elk and Go strategy or uh, you just want to run it white for example. Uh, there's so many options that you can do there. I think you can balance it a little bit more. So, as we go through, you can see that we've got a whole bunch of completions. Arena was the first one that we did, which was pretty easy on this. It was just the avatar of the skies, which I think was causing a few concerns, uh, followed shortly afterwards by the burrows. And nice and easy, this is where we got the um, wand, unique wand, and then we got bone crypts, always hidden away uh, somewhere. And then we got plateau. Which, not quite the same as um, at all, but there we go. And the worst map for me, Mineral Pools. I'm so glad we got this one out the way. Uh, and then this is where we actually got slower projectiles, was in the Primordial Blocks. So that was pretty straightforward. Um, and now we lead on to one of the biggest things that happened. And uh, let's look at a clip. Yep, 
It turns out Maven was not a fan of us uh, when we decided to try our first T6. So yeah, the Giga Sheep is no more. So what does this mean for us going forward? Uh, essentially, well, we need to re-roll. Now, we had a couple options that we could potentially have a look at. Some ball lightning was going to be uh, one of them. But I think I have a plan for what I want to go for. And I've got to do a little bit of muling. So we'll end up coming to that one in uh, tomorrow's episode or the day after. Every couple days I seem to be releasing these. Um, so yeah, it's unfortunate. We ended up about rank 280 uh, overall, which was pretty decent. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. Nearly hit 80. We were 78, which is much, much better than I expected. I was expecting to die a lot sooner. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, definitely let me know in the comments section down below. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. And uh, as always, if you've got any comments, suggestions, um, thoughts, definitely let me know. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.